Water tastes disgusting. That's why I don't drink it. So last week, I was so ridiculously close to quitting the gym, binning my powerlifting belt, and just completely obliterating anything gym related in my life because I had had enough of the gym culture. I've had enough of powerlifting until this tiny pill changed my destiny completely. Okay, maybe that's a slight exaggeration. Powerlifting was actually already starting to piss me off. There are things I absolutely hate about powerlifting. Obviously, there are things I like too. Actually, no. You know how everyone says that powerlifting is a community? It's not a community. It can't be a community because powerlifting, powerlifting programs are designed to be done in isolation. This book also sums up how I feel about powerlifting. Isolated. And the gym I train in looks just like this. You are meant to go through utter torture and utter hell in isolation. You go to a regular gym and people are training together. People are like, can I work out with you? Can I jump in with you? Powerlifting gym, none of that happens. So powerlifters do not work out together. And that is one thing I hate about powerlifting. So going back to last week and why I was so close to quitting the love of my life and dumping it forever, I was dying in my workouts. I was literally shivering, sweating, shaking, on the verge of near death. This is gonna lead me on to the next thing I hate about powerlifting. Basically, it's the whole stick to the plan attitude that powerlifters will indoctrinate you with because they are also indoctrinated because powerlifting is a cult. I'd be talking to my coach, be like, oh, I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm in a desert and there are no gyms. And he'll be like, yeah, you stick to the plan. Or I'll be like, oh, I'm running really late, I can't do a workout today because I've worked 23 out of 24 hours and I'm about to drop dead. And again, stick to the plan. Can I train at another gym? And he'll be like, stick to the plan. My cat died, stick to the plan. So I come back from Sicily and I'm crazy sick. I just want to be told that it is okay to rest and do nothing. The other thing I absolutely abhor about powerlifting, how many ridiculously crazy, bizarre accessories you have to do. It's like today, I am squatting with chains, bands, boxes, chainsaws, slingshots, heels up, heels down. It's, it's completely ridiculous. I speak to Hakthan about how I desperately want to train because I killed myself for every single one of those lifts. I literally went through so much hell to increase my bench by 0.25 kg. You just don't want to go back. You'd rather die. It reached a point where I'd cry before my workout, I'd cry during my workout, I'd cry after my workout. And then I had a conversation with another powerlifter. The conversation stressed me out even more. She's like, hey, you've uh, not seen you around, where have you been? I was like, oh, I had the flu and I feel really, really sick and I'm just not getting better. And she says, you're not getting better because you took time off the gym. And the more you work through your sickness, the quicker you'll recover. Add that to the list of things I hate about powerlifting. Here's the next thing I hate about powerlifting, how they rely on supplements for absolutely everything. Like you're feeling sick, here's 20 tablets of fish oil. Your dog got run over, here's 20 tablets of fish oil. I get sick a lot, I'm a sickly person, okay? I'm puny, sickly and weak. And she says, how much fish oil are you having? The only thing fish oil ever did for me was traumatize my entire childhood. So it's been two weeks into my illness. I do a bench workout and I, every time I inhale, I get this crazy pressure in my throat, which is already so inflamed. I message my coach and I'm like, here's my bench press of the day. Check my form. FYI, I was dying of excruciating pain whilst I was bracing. So like, the underlying message I'm trying to give is like, please can I not go to the gym? His reply actually gave me hope that, that maybe these people aren't the crazy heartless psychopaths that everyone thinks they are. He replies, is the pressure causing more inflammation? I literally reply, yes, it's causing me more inflammation. My throat is killing me so bad. I can't train for like the next foreseeable future. And he is about to say, yes, it's fine, don't train. We don't want inflammation. Inflammation is a bad thing. Your bench is causing your throat to become more inflamed. No more benching. I'm waiting for the green light and this madness. And what does he say? I I'll, I'll, I'll be the text out to you. I couldn't word it any better myself. Is the pressure build up aggravating the inflammation? And I'm like, yeah, definitely Please say I don't have to train anymore. And then I get, you need to change the way you're inhaling and bracing. So basically, this is not me and my human body doing its thing or me needing a rest or here's some well do time timeout. It's you're not bracing properly. It's the other thing I hate about powerlifting. I never do anything right. Even my breathing isn't right. Obviously bench pressing crazy amounts of weight whilst you're dying of a fever and in pain is not the problem. Hey, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. So I went to see the doctor and I was super excited for my appointment and I was like, 
Now I can tell my coach that the doctor has said I do not need to work out anymore. I was looking through this book about friendship. It's called Friends of Friends. And one thing I've learned about powerlifting is that your coach is not your friend. Now we've cleared that up, I want to get to the nice part of the story. Um, I go to the doctor, she's like, what's wrong? How can I help you? She's also Muslim, by the way, so I get really excited. Like, when I see another Muslim female, I'm like, oh my God, get more of this. Yeah, why did the light go off? Anyhow, and I tell her I'm in excruciating throat pain. I'm really glad I wrote a good review about that doctor because I think she really deserved it. And I hope she does well and has a long, amazing life because she was really nice. She takes a look at my throat and she's like, you've been suffering with this for three whole weeks and you have a really bad infection. It's obviously tonsillitis, you need antibiotics. Obviously, I told her that I lift weights because it's extremely relevant and lifting weights suppresses your immunity. So I wanted her to like tell me all about how I shouldn't lift weights anymore because if one more person would validate for me the excuse I desperately want. I mean, that would be amazing. And she literally just smiled and said, that's really nice, but you can keep lifting. Anyway, one tablet later, I felt amazing. I went out with friends. Oh my God, I don't want to quit powerlifting anymore. Obviously, I still despise it and everything about it, but what do you want a girl to do? Obviously, I can't do bodybuilding because like the layers, but I feel like I've been through a rite of passage, which was training through pain and difficulty. I am now fully initiated into the powerlifting family. The only part that's different is that I still really hate it. Obviously, I'm still going to powerlift for the rest of my life. The brutality, the madness, the craziness, the one-track mindedness is just incredible. So I'm not quitting because that would make me a quitter and powerlifters don't quit. And that is the story of my powerlifting initiation journey.